Hello friends, here in this video, we will see how to measure pressure by using YouTube manometer. Here I have the diagram of that. See, this diagram is of YouTube manometer. Now what is YouTube manometer? Here we have a pipeline which is indicated by point B. To this pipeline, a tube is connected which is in the shape of letter U. So it is called as U-tube and manometer it is a device which is used to measure pressure. So this complete setup it is called as U-tube manometer which is attached to the pipeline and we have to measure the pressure of fluid inside this pipe. So we will attach this U-tube to the pipeline. Now as in the diagram first which we can see here diagram number A this is for gauge pressure and gauge pressure it is the pressure above atmosphere means positive pressure. So to measure gauge pressure what we will do we will connect this manometer to the pipeline. The pipeline it the fluid inside that will come into the left portion. Next this in black color which we are seeing here this is mercury the heavier fluid. So there would be level balance inside both the left and the right portion of the manometer. These are called a left limb and right limb. And once it is balanced, we will be measuring H1 and H2 height. H1 is the height from the reference to the center of the pipeline in the left limb. H2 is the height from the reference to the mercury level in the right side of the, or we can say right limb of the YouTube manometer. Now this setup is used for gauge pressure. And the second setup which we can see here, this is for vacuum pressure. For vacuum pressure, the fluid whose pressure we have to measure, it is below atmospheric, that is at point number B. So once we are attaching the YouTube manometer, this fluid will suck the mercury towards it. So as we can see, in the right side we don't have mercury, but we have mercury in the left side. So this indicates negative pressure. So here we have seen for gauge pressure and for vacuum pressure, the pressure measuring setup. Now, if we want to measure the pressure, we have to apply balance in both the left as well as the right limb for such kind of manometers. Now for gauge pressure, I can write the equation as since for the left portion, I am writing, we have to measure the pressure of this pipeline B. So I'll write down pressure of pipeline B as P suffix B plus now in the left portion, I have the fluid here. I'll give that fluid as it would be rho that is the density of the fluid here that will be rho 1 into g is the acceleration due to gravity or gravitational force h1 is the height so this much is the total pressure in the left portion now when i am considering the right portion then it will be equal to here the height is h2 so it is density into g into h2 where 2 indicates the density of heavier liquid that is mercury and 1 indicates the density and the properties of the fluid so here we would be applying the balance and then we would be getting the pressure in the pipeline b as rho 2 g into h2 minus rho 1 g into h1 so from this we can calculate the pressure inside the pipeline b similarly for vacuum pressure here i would be having pressure at point b plus rho 1 g into h1 for the lighter fluid whose pressure i want to measure then h2 it is plus rho 2 g into h2 and that is equal to in the right side column we don't have any fluid so the pressure is zero so finally we can calculate p suffix b it will be this this term will go on to the right hand side minus rho 1 g into h1 minus rho 2 g into h2 and as we can see here the answer from this would be negative that indicates vacuum pressure so in this video we have seen how to measure pressure using youtube manometer